guys it's justify here and today I'll, I'm back with another tutorial it, uh, today I'll be doing it on poly effects which um, is a, basically a text that is cracked into pieces so yeah it looks it, look, it looks really cool on stuff that you're making like backgrounds logos back a uh, desktop backgrounds and stuff so let's just uh, so let's get started shall we okay so first what you want to do is create a text so mo graph and then mo text and then put any text you want I'll put my name justify justify align it to the middle and then yeah put the camera steady right where it is okay and then just open up the font folder oh, hold up I'll back I'll be back when it's uh, when it's done opening yeah so I'm gonna choose the font code and bold, which is a really sick font, and you guys should download it. I'll probably find the link for the download, so and I'll put it in the description below. So yeah, first okay then, what you wanna do is go to caps, start, put that to fill a cap, and then fill a cap, and then put the radius to two and the end radius to two centimeters so then if you want layers in the back it uh, which I think is really cool is just hold control and C like press C and then press V to paste so do that five times so when you have uh, when you have five actually it's gonna be have uh, it's gonna have six text but like one two three four five six yeah so there's six text so and then click on Motex 1 and highlight it. Click hold shift and click on Motex 5 so it's gonna highlight these. Go to cap, fill cap. Okay, put the radius to 3 and end radius to 3. So it's gonna look all like you're gonna see it increase, like the size bigger. So then just drag them, just drag them in the back. So just keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, so once you've done that, you could add color to it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna add color to it. I'm gonna put this to red. Uh, change this to object GI. If you guys want to know how I did that, just right uh, go over the material and right click, and yeah, you get all these options. So okay, reflection. Put that to Fresno, and then. I'll make another material. I'm gonna keep this white. I'll fail. White reflection. Fresno, and then yeah. So the first uh, on the first text, I'm gonna put white. So I'm gonna put it into a pattern. Okay. So once you've done that. What you want to do is highlight the first text, okay, and hold shift and click Mold Text 2. So you have three texts highlighted. Go to Plugins, Throssy, and click on the first one. And you can put how many pieces you want. It, okay, it's gonna give you, if you put it to like 40, 50, it's gonna like break, like crack your text more. So I'm just gonna put it to 30, 35 and we'll see how that looks I'll pause the video and come back soon uh, soon when it's done rendering well cracking so when it's done cracking okay when you go to the text box right here it's uh, next to the text there, there's going to be an X just click that so a check mark can come up uh, come up so just do it to all of these so yeah Okay, so when you've done that, go to MoGraph, and you're gonna have an option over here. The last one, Poly Effects. Click on that, and then what you want to do is click on the first Throssy right there on the bottom, to the top, 
Okay, don't highlight poly effects, so you're gonna put these into poly effects. So it's gonna create a folder. So then go to transform, click on poly effects, go to transform, and the S point X, put that to 1.25, and then 1.05, and then 1.25. Or I think I did that wrong. Yeah, it's 1.25, sorry about that. And then 1.05. Then, what you want to do is go to MoGraph, Effector, and then go to Random, and click on Random, hold Shift, and click on Poly Effects, so it's going to highlight all these, and then, uh, and then you, you can do this, hold Alt-G on the keyboard, and press G, so you can group them, or you could just right click, and go all the way down here, and click on Group Objects, and then go to Random, open up the folder, go to Random, go to Deformer, put that to Point, Go to perimeter, put uh, put the p point x and p point y and p point z to 15 centimeters. Then go to effector and put that to three strength to three. So it's gonna look all cracked up. So let's see how it looks like when we render it out. So yeah, I could have I could have opened this in my Lightroom, but yeah. So when it's done rendering, you're gonna see how it's gonna look all like professional and yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna look better if you had a Lightroom, and if you do have a Lightroom and it's and you're using it right now, that's well, that's great then, cause it's gonna look more like HD, like more better looking than you see on my screen, cause I'm not using the Lightroom. So let's uh, so just wait until it's done rendering. <coughs> yeah. So when it's done rendering, ew, mine looks blurry. I don't know why, but whatever, it looks good. Still, you can use it on backgrounds, logos, and stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And just want to give a shout out to Byzepsi for yeah, he does graphics too, and he's been he's been do he's been doing it for three to four years. And yeah, that's where I learned my stuff from. I learned from him because we're friends in real life. And yeah, peace.